Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Brainplosion. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a few questions that you may or may not have about this channel. But before getting started, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I make new videos every Saturday. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because one, this channel just surpassed 50 subscribers and because these are some questions that I would ask if I was subscribed to a smaller channel. So I came up with the name Brainplosion kind of out of nowhere. I knew it had to be unique and it had to somewhat be catchy and somewhat clever at the same time, if that makes sense. So I just took the phrase mind blowing, changed the word mind to brain, changed the word blowing to explosion. So brain explosion is basically the same thing as mind blowing. Um, and I just combined the two words, brain explosion. And yeah, that's how I made Brainplosion. I make oddly satisfying slash quirky science videos. I want my channel to be kind of like the crazy Russian hacker or the king of random, but I also want flexibility with my channel in the future. I'm from Houston, Texas in the United States. So not to get into too much detail why I don't show my face, I work at a job where they do check your social media presence. I didn't believe it at first when I was in high school how they say, oh, make sure you don't post dumb things on social media because there will be jobs that do check your social media presence. And yeah, this is one of them. I'm 21 years old and have a birthday in November. I actually didn't want to make YouTube videos at first, but I've always loved buying weird gadgets from Amazon and doing weird experiments just on my own. I even did it as a kid and I thought, you know what? I see videos on YouTube go viral and make a ton of money from these weird experiments and gadgets that I kind of thought, hey, I should just make some. If they blow up, they blow up. And if they don't, then I could just, you know, have the videos just for myself. I also work a ton and go to school full time and it just keeps my creativity, the creative side of my brain just flowing or active, if that makes sense. I honestly want to do a lot. I know that YouTube favors YouTube channels that have a specific niche. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just YouTube channels that kind of pump out the same kind of content. So like David Dobrik, he's not really going to post anything other than vlogs. But I remember back then on YouTube that YouTubers would have different types of videos for different days. And I kind of want that to be my YouTube channel. I don't know if that's just me shooting myself in the leg with YouTube growth, but it's because I have a lot of interests. So for the summer, I kind of wanted to experiment with like movie reviews. So like movie review Monday. And I also love technology. So like a Tech Tuesday type of thing or like a Tech Thursday or possibly a Food Friday type of thing. I don't know if that's cheesy. Let me know if that is or not. But I live in Houston, which is a, like I said in my previous video, it's a pretty big city. So almost everything is accessible to me. Me. there's always new restaurants and things popping up all right guys hopefully you like this different type of video and gave you some insight on me as a person and the you know the person you subscribe to because i know that whenever i subscribe to a person on youtube i want them to be honest with me and i wanted to do the same with you guys and if you could all do me a favor and click the notification bell down by the subscribe button it lets you know when i make new videos and um yeah guys hopefully you guys have a great day or whenever you watch this a great week um please be safe i know that a lot of places are running out of food and supplies and water and whatnot but yeah guys uh stay safe peace <laughs>